All right, here we go. First of all, thank you so much for joining me today into my first ever reading vlog. So, yeah, a few days ago I decided to kind of do this experiment of sort. So, here's the plan. I usually re read about like two hours to three hours max a day and with everything in life I feel like it's I, I'm never capable of reading more than that. So uh, I decided for this project, so so to speak, to actually just read for seven hours a day throughout seven days of the week. So starting today, today is Tuesday, and that will be my first day, I will be reading continuously for seven hours. Of course, this is just a project and it's for a limited time, so in this case for seven days. And I know that seven hours may not sound that much for some people and may sound too excessive for, for other people. But for me, it's kind of in between, like it's a lot more than what I usually do, but I feel that I can do it. It's challenge challenging, but I can do it, hopefully. So um, yeah, this week, this will be a journey of just me reading for seven hours a day. I will probably not be capable of like filming myself each step of the way, but I will make sure to do check-ins to tell you what I'm reading. This is pretty much the gist, the gist of what uh, I am going to do for the upcoming week. I hope this will turn out somehow as I planned, but in my opinion there is no pressure, <laughs> just a tiny little bit, but I'm trying not to put that much pressure because this is an experiment and experiments are meant to reveal things. This is obviously my first time, so excuse me. <laughs> anyway, I am currently reading The Witcher series and I am in the second novel, which is the fourth book actually, and that is Time of Contempt. I am, I still have like just a tiny little bit to finish it. Uh, I was hoping to start Baptism of Fire today, like right away and just like finish the book yesterday, but I had a lot of things to do before starting this project. So I, only managed to read about like five pages yesterday. I said to myself, it's okay, I can still do it today and I will probably be capable of starting Baptism of Fire if I wanted to. But I also am in the middle of reading Soul of the Sword, which is the second novel of the Shadow of the Fox trilogy. So probably not gonna start with Baptism of Fire today, but Instead, I will continue with that book that I've been holding for holding off for I think a week now. I started it and then I I don't know. I'm reading too many books at one time. That's why I I take a lot of time to finish one book. Anyway, I'm going to sit down and start the reading and take you with me. So, hope you enjoy. Let's get into it. Welcome to the first check-in. So I've just finished the first hour of today's project and I'm almost finished but uh, I still I think I still have like another hour or even more I don't know I can't really estimate that I will see how 
the things will go. Usually I'm not really that much of a fast reader and I'm not a slow reader either. I'm just somewhere in between and I usually prefer slower pace. Uh, I don't like to burn up, burn through books. I like to take my time with them and indulge my feelings through these books. Anyway, um, this whole project actually started because I just, I want to appreciate reading more and in my mind it's a try to raise the productivity of reading. So raising my reading productivity is actually why I decided to do this whole challenge or journey, whatever you want to call it. So yeah, it's not about how many pages did I read or how many books I have finished or whatever. It's just about actually being productive in terms of reading. So hopefully I can achieve that. And it's a chance to just like, or it's an excuse to just like sit down and read for hours and hours. So I'm currently feeling very like excited and yeah, I, I feel I can do this. So hopefully this will end on like a nice term. <laughs> anyway, uh, I, I don't want to linger too much with this check-in. I want to get back to reading. So uh, I did take a five minute, five minutes break and I just like, I made a cup of tea. It's ginger tea. So it's, it's warm and it's kind of put me in even more cozy mood <laughs> and I will be enjoying this while continuing reading. Let's get into it again. <laughs> The Witcher Time of Contempt by Andrea Andrea by Andre Sapkowski and I will be moving to the next one which is ba Baptism of Fire very soon but right now let me tell you about my experience generally speaking of this specific book I have to say that I think up until this specific book, I wasn't really immersed in the story or in the characters, generally speaking. I was intrigued very much from the beginning, right from the start of the first book, which is The Last Wish. So right from there, I was interested, but I didn't feel that I am fully in the story, if that makes any sense. Up until the beginning of this book or even right up to the middle of this book that I actually felt really really into the story and um, now I can't wait to actually start Baptism of Fire. Uh, I would say this is currently my favorite out of four books that I've read from this series. The most interesting aspect of this book and The Witcher series in general is the fact the character building in these are actually very very beautifully written and also you get to see the blood development through the ca character development i think that is very very interesting and i appreciate that a lot i still have four more hours to go in terms of the reading challenge. So yeah, uh, I'll be continuing very soon. I'll, I'm taking a break for five or ten minutes and then I'll be continuing with another book. So as I said, I have just finished this and I'm gonna put this book aside and I'm gonna continue with Soul of the Sword because this was going very great but um, for some reason I stopped reading. Yeah, anyway, let's just continue with this.
Okay, so I have just finished hour number five. I still have two more hours to go, but um, I'm feeling a little bit sleepy. <laughs> but I'm gonna persevere anyway. I'm practically in the middle of the book and it's going fine. But I feel like the first one was a little bit more exciting not just a little bit to be honest it was <laughs> a lot more exciting to me i was like flying through that book but this one uh it's not the same yeah i'm not feeling as excited as i was with like reading the first one and actually honestly i went through this in the beginning i was still super excited because i just i wanted to know more but um i don't know now it's just it's not the same it's not bad by any means i'm not saying that it's not good or anything it's still fine but it's just it's because it is in the middle so the first book always have this like exciting new fresh look on things like you are discovering a lot of new stuff and then the last book in trilogies specifically you get to see everything come come together at the end but the second book are like in trilogies are always like meh it's not as fresh as <laughs> it was and it's still not close to the end as they say so i think that's like one of the reasons why i'm not feeling like so excited about this but it's still fine i still have two more hours as i said and i will do a final checking after these two hours i think and uh, i am a little bit exhausted but um considering this is just the first day and i still have two more hours to go um yeah we will see how this journey would be like just reached page 210 so this is part two i'll be continuing tomorrow with this book hopefully i can finish it i'm not quite sure if i can but it that's it for today's challenge so yeah as i was saying i have reached over half of what it was called soul of the sword Sorry, my brain is all over the place. I have just finished seven hours of reading for today. Currently is about, I think, 5.30 p.m. or something like that. Maybe even more, I'm not quite sure. I've started uh, before 10, but yeah, uh, of course, I took like small, tiny, tiny breaks in between, but... I have managed to complete seven hours. That's for the whole reading thing. And for the book itself, uh, I'm quite surprised actually um, now. I feel like I got a little bit more engaged now with the book. These books, if you like anime specifically, I think you would love these books because I feel like I am watching anime but in... <laughs> In a written form if that makes any sense and yeah that would be the end of day one of this vlog and i will see you on day two good morning everyone so it's day two of the seven by seven challenge so now it's 10 06 and it is the 23rd of september I started yesterday, obviously, and now uh, I am continuing. Uh, I've already said, let's get started three times, so. So, I have reached page 
263 don't look I don't want anything to be spoiled for you <laughs> I have reached this about five minutes ago uh, but I decided to just take five minutes break uh, I made some tea uh, I have a little bit of a snack <laughs> it's now 12.36 okay <laughs> it's changed just while I was filming things are getting really interesting but I feel like there is a little bit of stalling going through this whole like thing it's turning to be more and more like a love story rather than like people on a mission <laughs> I don't know I don't mind that it's fine it's not the actual like main concern for the whole story but it feels like it is in these sections that I'm reading right now yeah it's things are definitely more interesting the more I read but I still think that this is a little slower like the base is a little slower than the like, the first one reached part three so yeah quite a journey um, it's now 15 06 I'm super excited uh, I thought this will take the like me finishing bar two will take the whole seven hours but for some reason apparently I'm reading a little bit faster than the usual base or my usual base. I'm actually liking a lot of the scenes. There are some relationships in this that um, some relationship dynamics in this that I'm actually very happy about. Some interactions are really really cute. <laughs> so I have just finished Soul of the Sword from the Shadow of the Fox trilogy and by that I also finished the seven hours of reading for today it is 17.33 I was a little bit agitated with the last part the third and last part of this book even though I was expecting in my mind I was expecting certain events and they turned out to be what I expected it's still I was a little disappointed um, other than that just generally speaking I still feel like this wasn't meant to be the true deal of these three books I think the first one was a hit for me this one is still good but probably not as good as I hoped it would be but I understand though, I understand why and the reasons like why I'm feeling this way I think it's because as I said it's in the middle right there it's kind of like it's building up for the third book uh, I'm still happy that I read this book and I'm still looking forward to read to reading the third book which is <laughs> Night of the Dragon anyway I will be reading this very very soon in fact like in a couple of days I don't think I will read this tomorrow I want to read something else because I have a lot of other books that I haven't read yet so yeah probably I will read something else tomorrow but it's nice that I was capable of finishing this book and yeah let's see what will happen in the last book of this trilogy I think I made up my mind and I will upload day one and day two as one vlog so we reached the end of the first vlog thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next one <laughs>